child or a parent of one, that male was probably sacrificed today, GCSE results day. This year, the number of GCSEs awarded at least a C grade has risen yet again, and overall, girls have done better than boys yet again. So here's the question. If girls do so well academically, why is this not reflected later in pay and stature at work? Simeon Brown has been back to school. It's August, but there are teenagers in the school hall, which must mean it's results day. Let's look for the clues. Pensive faces, phone calls to family and friends, celebration, <laughs> and the walk of doom. Nervous. I'm very nervous, very nervous. I just want to open my results right now. Like, I feel sick to my stomach. Ten years ago, this was me. Today, I'm providing a shoulder of support to Jessica. And by shoulder of support, I mean turning up with a camera to make the day even more nerve-wracking. Good luck, darling. Thank you. How are you feeling now? Um, very, I'm surprised. Like, very surprised. Better than I expected. Okay. Very, wow. She did not tell you guys what she got, but I can say her grades were amongst the highest in her year. Of course, not everyone got the grades they wanted. I work hard, I try my best, and that's what I've got. There's nothing I can change right now. Many of the students that we've spoken to today have done very well, especially the girls. But although young women tend to do much better than the boys in education, figures out today reveal that for young women between the age of 16 and 24, there are still more of them who are not in education or in work than their male counterparts. Good qualifications, good exam results are not translating into better opportunities for young women. They're losing out. They're being funneled into a narrow range of jobs or opportunities. They may be doing training for which there are no jobs subsequently. All the apprenticeships or further education to which they're going don't offer the flexibility and the pay that they need to be able to run their lives. Single mother Angela is neither in work or education and has struggled to find employment since her son was born. I have GCSEs, I have A-levels, I also have a bachelor's degree and I also have a master's degree and I feel like I've invested in my education but yet no opportunities have been available to support me into employment at the end of every stage of my education. But this should not diminish the achievement of the girls from Globe Academy where these students are already signing up for sixth form. Here they're prepping them for the challenges that lie ahead and know every step to success will require their best.